I like your take on boobies. And I like boobies. Turnbuckle Podcast with your host, The Hired Gun. So, usually I talk about a wrestler who's somebody who gives it to me, but I'm just going to jump into it. Alright, about Monday Night Raw. We got what, I got what I wanted. I got CM Punk versus Seth Rollins. Doing promos. It was round one. I'm looking for more promos. I'm looking for more. Uh, I'm looking for more from CM Punk. Because like he said, Seth get one one try. He get one try. You know, it's all bad about him. Okay, we finna get a whole lot more promos for, for them too. All right, and eventually they don't hit. Eventually they will hit each other. All right, but you know, I got what I wanted last night. We'll, we'll Punk and uh, and Seth Rollins. All right, I'm looking for way more, way, way, way more uh, from that. You know, because for anybody who didn't think Seth wasn't going to Raw, it's crazy. It's more for him to do on Raw. It's way more for him to do on Raw than just Seth Rollins. All right, we're going to get Punk versus Roman eventually. And that's still gonna happen. SummerSlam, probably. You know, you can still build up to that. It don't. It doesn't need the title or anything else. It just needs. It just, it just need. It just need Punk versus Roman. All right, we can get to that later. Right now, what we need is Seth versus CM Punk. It's gold. It it it, it writes itself. It writes itself. You know and. The punt that, uh, I mean, the, the promo that uh, Seth did last night sounds real familiar, huh? Because, because you know, Adam Page did that same promo to CM Punk when he, when he was at AEW. Same promo. All right, but it, it just makes more sense coming from Seth than Adam Page. It, 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 it just makes more sense coming from him because of the fact that it's literally what's happening. Well, it's not happening, but it, it just makes more sense it coming from CM Punk, the Adam Page. You know? And, and, and if you don't know what Adam Page said, he, he said something on the lines of what, what Seth said like last night about being a cancer, being a... Uh, Cancer in the locker room, you know, being a spy and all that stuff. That 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 stuff that Adam uh, that Heyman Page uh, said to CM Punk when they was going head to head, you know. But it just it just sounds better some from Seth Rollins because Punk's coming back. He's all good. He he he's saying he's saying what he's supposed to say, you know. But usually he's a snake. Like people we know in these ways. Nonetheless, 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 let's get past that. So, you know, we're getting what we want. You know, we're literally getting what we want and overall. Since he was never going to NSC and he was never going to SmackDown. It just looked good. I wish we would, I wish we would have got uh, a Paul Heyman and CM Punk promo. I wish we would have got that. You know, I, like 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 that is that is my only uh, brief about not getting something when we went to SmackDown. Was that like like controversy? 
you know, like, 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 like that, or a controversy in NXT, like, like something, you know, but the NXT thing is good. I hate that Shawn Michaels just forgot his uh, lines, you know, but it was good. It was good. I, I like the uh, hoodie, the pink hoodie, the red heart hoodie to throw shade at uh, Shawn Michaels. You know, I, I, I love that. I love that for, for real. It like, like. Tell me, tell me how you really feel without telling me how you really feel. Plain and simple. That's all that was. That's all that was. But, Raw, it's okay. Wasn't the best Raw, but it was okay. Once again, the best thing, uh, let me not say it. The Cody versus uh, Shinsuke was good. It was a good match. I hate the ending, but it, I said I said this like two weeks ago or last week that what was gonna happen with that match. My, you know, I like, like like I knew it wasn't gonna finish, or if it finished, it was gonna have a controversy uh, ending, which it, which it did. He caught it up from the beat him, and then he come to miss. You know, which okay, this is leading to the it just leads to them fighting that Royal Rumble. That's all. It, 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 like 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 since he looked look strong and he didn't lose, so that therefore it's a win-win. It gets something for Tony to do, and it gives something for Shinsuke to do at the Rumble, all right? And it builds up more story of it, you know. So that was good. It, it, like we had a 20-minute match with a commercial, but it, it was a hit 20 minutes. So they started at 10, 10 40, maybe 10 30, 10 35. So with the commercial, we still got like 20 minutes of wrestling for, for, for them two, which was great, which is great. I'll get into that match later on because I I, I want to talk about somebody that could that could be going to WWE, coming to WWE real soon. Could be. And they're, they're showcasing what they can do with with this person, with with uh since yet. So, but I get I, I I will get into that. Um, so that got time. I get time to talk and I get time to talk about it. So, but um, so let's start over raw. Like I said, raw was okay. It wasn't bad. It wasn't great. It was okay. It wasn't. It, it, it was okay. Uh, started off with. Um, Jay and Drew McIntyre, and you know, started off with with Drew with a promo, you know, and then we but we started off with uh, with the match, and like I said before about Jay, like we can say, oh, I can say that I'm glad he in his single run, and he's doing good, you know, uh, uh, being uh, being I'm uh, doing what he's doing. He got the eat back, so so he can eat, eat, eat all he wants to. He got his t-shirt and everything back. But when it comes to wrestling in single matches, he hasn't won. Especially, especially when it comes to somebody who's a main eventer, he has not won yet. Him, hey. Is, is, is if anything, I think Jimmy got more wins than Jay when it comes to senior wrestling since they separated. Since since, since Jay's been on Raw and Jimmy's been on uh, been been on SmackDown and they had and they've been doing one on one as a senior wrestler, I'm pretty sure Jimmy got more wins than Jay. Now when it comes to main eventing, same person, like the same thing. They have a one one. You know, for us to take Jay seriously as a single competitor, he got to stop winning some of these matches. He got to be the Drew. He got to be a uh, Seth. Eventually, he got to be be the Gunther. All right, he got to be somebody who's on that level to give him that to give him that signature win that he needs. So we can believe in that man. 
you know, because right now he's just a bona fide hype man right now. That 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 you like, like, you know, <laughs> like 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 that's all he is right now. You know, like 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 you have to believe in somebody. I mean, believe in him, but they they also got to give us something to to believe in when it comes to Jay Uso. And right now, they're not, cause, he, cause he's not winning. Yeah, so we can go all the. We want to, and it and, and it don't matter because of the fact that he ain't winning. He can promo, he can get the hyped up and and all that good stuff, but he's not winning. He's not winning these these matches, these matches that matter right now. You know, so. Good match. We got 20 minutes, 15 minutes with, with, with some commercials. And it's a good match. But but it did serve its purpose. Because you pushed in Drew. I, like I said, I, I, I would rather it, it had been a three-way, but we're not getting that. But Drew's not winning either. Uh, next week, when he fight uh, Seth, not for the win. Not for the win. Not for the win. So then, right, so then we got a promo. We got a backstage promo from uh, the Judgment Day, and Dom Dom was still mad about losing the um, North American title, and you know Finn Finn and, and Rhea was there this time, and it was, it was a little bit of chaos and question question pointing fingers and everything when it came to. Rhea being leader and uh, uh, Damian Priest being leader and stuff, and then getting into it, and then Rhea left off. Then we got a match, which you know, listen, we got to stop putting certain people in the ring who can't wrestle. All right, this, this is not the, the Vince era anymore, but. You know, Domain Dupree or whatever her name is, she got in there with Rhea and got the mollusk, which, which she should have. But it it being what it was, she didn't look good in that ring. You know, like like sometimes we give, we give her spots to do it and she, and she does it okay. But in this case, she didn't look good in this ring with Rhea. And I understand it was it was to set up something else with um, the shit from uh, the Tree Brothers, which you know, oh what was it Ivory? Uh, I think that's her name. Uh, like like it's setting up that. And is she ready? I don't know, but it's happened because of the Tree Brothers for the fight um, for the tag team title. So you got to get her something to do too. Why not? I don't think neither one of them win, but why not? Like, why not set that up? You know, and go from there. So it set up a, so the rematch didn't last two minutes. Like three of the models, like dominated like she should, um like she was supposed to. Then we went back to the backstage and you and you seen uh what do we see? Oh, we went we'll backstage and, and, and uh, look at another backstage promo. Then we got to I, I, listen, listen. Bronson Reed and the guy from uh, a War Machine, or, or, or if you want to call them uh, the Viking Raiders, and, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the guy from that. That was a good. Uh, I don't want to say it was a good match. It was an okay match. It lasted longer than it lasted longer than I thought it was gonna last, but it was a good match. It was a good match uh, for what it was. You know, uh, they're not done yet. You know, they're not done uh, with Ronson and him, and what's the name? Iger? Yeah, Iger. That's his name. You know, um, it looked like they're gonna keep continuing. Like it, it looked like they're gonna keep continuing in this situation, in this match. Hey, look. Rossery won, and he should have won, because he's the, the dominating force in the man in the male division without a title. 
Bryce Reed needed that win more than uh, Iker when he needed that win. Bryce Reed is going to, whenever they take the title off of um, Gunther, you know what? I can see Bryce Reed getting that title. It, it, hell, if he was on uh, SmackDown, I would want him in the tournament for, uh, for the United States title. Because he can, he, can run with a, he can run with a title right now. I like this gimmick more than I like the gimmick he had in NXT. And what helped him, no lie, what helped him is him getting released and him building his character more for what he is now. Yeah, right? because he polished, he got polished when he went overseas to New Japan. He got polished when he was in uh, uh, Impact. And he had them this impact. He got polished better. And he's more believable now as a monster, a, a big guy, a monster, as a wrestler. And I can see him getting pushed more. Now, the only thing about that is he's not going to be champ. He's not going to be champion in the long run. And if he is, maybe once or twice. Like, like because. A force like that, or a dominating wrestler like that, is now always going to be the champion. All right, he's just going to do his thing and dominate and dominate, and then lose in the main, like in the main, uh, main, main event level. But this, but these keep showing that he's a dominating force. Same thing with Knight. You know, Knight's been champ. But now he's not gonna. But but saying that now he's not gonna always be champ, you know. But she's always gonna be a dominating force, though, and that's what you need. You need people like that. But you're but you're good for the Bronx and then and then he didn't use the tsunami this time either. He, he used the uh, a suplex off the top rope to win. But 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 it's not his purpose. He don't always have to win with the tsunami, you know. So good match, good match for what it was. You know, uh, uh, I'm not really a fan of the whole uh, big guy versus big guy stuff. You know, even though I am a big guy, but still, you know, not 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 really a fan of it all the time. But uh, but but they they went at it, pause, and you know, and uh, it did good. It did good. It did good. I I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Um. Can't see what's next for Ross and Reed. Like, keep keep his push going. Keep it going. Then we got uh Becky uh calling out Nia Jax. And you know, they talked about what they need to talk about. It was another face to face meeting. I think I'm skipping something, but I'm, I'm gonna go back to the whole punk promo. But, you know, we got that. Uh that's gonna set up a match. You know, so so it but I'm glad they got face to face time. I'm glad that it wasn't boring. It's okay. It's really okay. Like, like we brought up the fact that Nia Jax broke her face. I mean, broke Becky's face. You know, we brought up the fact that without without that situation, she ain't the man no more. I mean, she not the man. And what Nia Jax said is true. She needs her. Becky needs Nia Jax to be uh, for this here. And ain't nobody else who had a fight besides, besides Rhea. So, like, she needs Nia Jax. And Nia Jax kind of needs her too. Because it, it ain't nobody for, it really nobody for Nia to, uh, to uh, show down this too right now. You know, so, it's time. It, 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 is, it is guaranteed time for that to happen. So then we got the punk uh, promo, and and not that promo. We got the front punk punk uh, time threat sign. That's what we got. So when we got that, like I said in the beginning of the episode, whoever didn't think he was on a raw, just just ain't been watching. Just ain't been watching. Whoever think he wasn't going to raw is crazy. Right. So he's not the contract, and before he's not the contract, 
he talked about Cleveland. So they was in Cleveland. And he talked about what happened in Cleveland a couple times. Not, not just him leaving, but him losing the, uh, losing, him losing the world heavyweight title. So, you know, people don't, don't remember that, how he lost it. Orton kicked him in the head. And they got the bat off him that time. So him pointing at uh, him coming at his entrance uh, last week, what was a SmackDown? And him pointing at the heavyweight title, world heavyweight title. Who said? Who said the belt he lost that he got kicked in the head head in, in Cleveland? Who said? You know. Then him, him leaving, him leaving uh, later, uh, like a couple of years later in Cleveland. We're not gonna talk about the UFC fight he had in Cleveland. We, 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 we just gonna leave that alone. All right, I, I'm still hurt about that one too myself. But you know, so th- 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 there was two things that happened in Cleveland, really three, but two things that happened in Cleveland that he wanna change. So, so him him signing signing the raw makes sense because he won the world title back that he that he never lost that he never got pinned for so that's one thing and then WrestleMania uh, main event of WrestleMania he's always wanted he he's turned down a couple matches at WrestleMania that he he's turned down a couple matches at WrestleMania that. Shows you that he wanted or what he wanted, or what he wanted. A, he didn't want the Taker match. He didn't want that match. All right, there was a match that he was supposed to get with Triple H. Turned that down, and he turned that one down. All right, like the whole day, right thing wasn't supposed to happen. It was supposed to be CM Punk. All right, there was something else he turned down that that he didn't want. Cause he wanted the main, cause he wanted the main event of WrestleMania. So when I started this podcast, episode one, I told y'all, CM Punk is probably gonna get what he wants. He's probably gonna win the Rumble, and he's probably gonna main event of WrestleMania. That's exactly what I said. One of these gonna happen. Maybe both. All right, yeah, like like him coming back at the right time is making him get what he want. Same thing with Cody. Co- Cody, Co- Cody might have not finished the story last year, but he got what he wanted. All right, coming back. He, he, like, he came back at the right time. So did when they, they both of them came back at the right time to get the stuff they wanted. You know, and, 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 and they're selling merch. Well, which is a key factor here. If you sell, if you come back and you sell merch, you are gold. You are go. It don't matter who been here. All right. It don't matter what the story was or uh, before they came. If 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 you come back and and, and you do what you supposed to do and you sell merch and you sell tickets, all right, and, and and you move that needle, it don't matter. It don't matter after that then. All right. Needle mover. Plain and simple. All right. That that shit matters. Excuse my language. That shit matters. That shit matters more than anything else, right? Like, 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 and WWE. That, that's all that matters sometimes. If, if if you win, if you if you come back and you move, and you move that needle, you move that merch, and you get tickets up there, and the ratings show what you can do. It 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 it, 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 it rates itself. Then. So, you know, then after 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 Punk signed his contract, then we got what I've been looking for: a head-to-head promo with Seth Rollins and CM Punk. Okay, and Seth came out there, and he did what he had to say. I mean, he did what he had to do, and he came out there and he said what he had to say. All right, 
he ain't hold that. All right, and what he said is not like what he said about this is like this is point last last shot. It's true. It's true. He ain't go no else after this. Like 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 anyone else won't even wouldn't even matter after this. Like he can't go nowhere else besides here. Yeah, besides the WWE now. Like it ain't gonna be a last time when when Punk left AEW and the and and Impact was ready. TNA was ready to give him a contract. And he was in the back and everything. But Punk Punk no, this is it. Like this is all she wrote right now. I don't know how long he's on the contract for, maybe three, two years, but He's, he got to be on his best behavior for these two or three years. And that's it. I, I, I'm saying I don't think Punk's going to be around, uh, like, wrestling-wise, for more than three years, two years. Then he's going to go back to doing what he was doing before. You know? I, I, I can't see him doing more than two or three years. You know? But... Promo did what it was supposed to do. You got people talking. You got people chattering. You got people getting ready for this match to happen. And, you know, then uh, Punk uh, put himself in the Royal Rumble. So, there's that. And this, is a, and this is the best match for him to have right now, too. You know, you know let, let, let him have the Royal Rumble match first. And then we can ease him into other stuff. We can ease him into other, uh, like, like, like other, other things, so we don't have to worry about how he looks one on one with somebody. You know, you got to stay healthy. Him and Cody. All right, for us to get the stuff we want, you boys got to stay healthy. Plain and simple. Um, did we got the Cody? No, well, nah, we got other stuff. We got some, some some tag team matches that you know. If you're, uh, we got the, we got the old Judgment Day, um, and our truth statement, which I'm happy that happened. I'm happy the Judgment Day beat the crap out of uh, our truth. I don't want him in the Judgment Day. No, 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 no. that can't happen. That cannot happen. All right, and it's not gonna happen. Alright, then the Street Brothers look strong. They look strong uh uh against uh the Judgment Day. It was four it was four on two. And they still beat up the Judgment Day. So, you know, that was good. Then we got uh we got a uh, women's tag team uh, match which was pretty it was pretty good for what it was. You know, it it showcased what it needed to showcase. Um then we got Cody versus Cincinnati. We got 20 minutes in a commercial. And we got a good match. Like, this match was better than the uh, Cincinnati versus Seth Rollins match. Both of them, in my opinion. You know? Uh, and, and I'm surprised. But, but it was a real, real good match. You know, it, it just shows you, you know, like, Cody can wrestle any kind of style. Right? It, it shows you Cincinnati can wrestle any kind of style. Now, what I'm saying now, there's a free agent out there, we're assuming, with uh, the Rainmaker. And WWE is trying to show the Rainmaker, hey, this will be you. This will be you here in WWE. All right, you come here, you can be on the same pace and same level as this yet, recently. So, you know, the Rainmaker. He needs to look at this. Now, I don't know how good the remake of the Eagles is, but is it if it's on the same level as Shinsuke, he, he need to take heed he need to take heed of the situation now. Alright, if you don't speak English very well, probably ain't gonna be champion. Probably ain't gonna go that far besides being in the main event. Alright, because we because you gotta talk. You know, like, 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 they can't put you in front of the camera. Like, look at Dragon Lee. Dragon Lee knew what he had to do to get over and what he, or what he had to do to make it in the WWE. Like, he won the North American Championship uh, over the weekend. 
and NXT. It's not the limit for him. Because I, I don't see that being it for him. I, I don't see him not not winning the United States title industry or the IC title industry. So Dragon Lee is very, very talented. The Rainmaker is very, very talented. All right? And he can win the NXT, yes. But saying that, if he wants more, he got to he gotta do do something better about his promo skills. Like, Dragon Lee came over here and he worked his, he worked his ass off of you know, his promo skills. You know, so it is that. You know, but Cody and Sissy had a good match, and it, it's gonna keep going because the match didn't finish. We got 20 minutes, and we got an ending that I I seen it coming. Not like that. I thought Cody was gonna win, but I'm glad Cody didn't win. I'm glad it was a different finish. I'm glad it was a different a different. Finish. I'm glad we can look forward to something else. I'm glad that we are going to get something else, you know, for them too. Because if we can get more promos out of them, we can get, uh, you know what, I can hear about what I said. If the Rainmaker comes here, they can work with him. Because they, they're showing you, which is shit, what they can do. I, they've made his character so much better in the last couple months. Well, with the, uh, with the uh, subtitles and uh, the... The uh, graphics and stuff they do with him and everything, and, and, and they make they make him they, they make his character so much better, so much better, way better than when the first time he was in the push, and they, they just didn't do nothing with him, like like when it comes to backstage stuff or you know, subtitles and stuff, it, it, like they doing the same thing with EO, you know, so. That is a good thing, good thing, and, and we got, uh, you know, Cody getting beat up at, at the end by Shinsuke, and okay, but, uh, okay, problem. I mean, okay, uh, bro. I like, I like the, the, the beginning of the match, and I like the end match. Anything else was like, was okay. The promo was good. The promo was good. The promo from Becky was good. I, so I get to like a 5.5. 5.5. 5. 5. 5. Um, looking forward to NST. Looking forward to SmackDown. So, uh, I mean, I'm going to end the, uh, the podcast with that. Uh, I want to thank everybody for, for, for at least giving me a like or viewing because I've been seeing the views. And thank you, y'all. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all more than y'all ever know. I'm going to keep doing these things because of the fact that I love doing it. And it's fun to me. And I enjoy it. Um, make sure you guys check out e -Fest. Make sure you guys check out uh, New Breed. We got some stuff coming up. Alright, so make sure you guys check, check into that. Please give me a like. Subscribe like I've been doing. God bless.